else, welcome back to my channel for another video. So I have some updates. So a lot has happened in the past couple months. Um, I know not too long ago I did a lots happened in six months video and now here's another one. So the last video I was talking about how I moved into this place. I'm moving out. Um, I know I've talked about how much I love this place and how it's been so amazing and it has been and I do love this place, but it's time for me to move on. And let me get into some details. Alrighty, so a couple months ago, nine months actually, <laughs> eight months, eh, somewhere, my brother announced that him and his wife are having a baby. And I am very excited. I'm going to be an aunt. Um, I've always wanted to be an aunt, and which is funny. Most people are like, I always want to be a mom. No. No. I want to be an aunt. I want to be that cool aunt that comes in, and she's bougie, she's loud, she's annoying, but she's rich. She travels the world, and, like, everybody loves her. Everybody secretly wants to be her. And, you know, she she makes a lot of money. She's always so, like you know, dressed up and feeling herself, got the fancy cars, runs her own businesses, has always, has wine all the time. I know this is not wine, but um, wine is out of my budget right now. Anyway, so that's the aunt that I want to be. <laughs> um, but they live two and a half hours away from me. Yeah, on a good day, three to three and a half hours on a traffic day. And if they need something, or if I want to see him, it's a boy. The my nep I have a nephew. Uh, he's coming in December. But if I want to go see him, or when he's older, I want to, you know, be around, take him out. I want to be there. I want to be a present aunt. I want to be a present family member, and I want him to know who I am. And I want to help out my brother and sister. And honestly, it's kind of hard to be able to do that when I'd have to get hotels. And hotels are so expensive now and gas. And I would not be able to afford having this condo and traveling to Victoria all the time. Now, as much as I no, he's like, I've had people say, oh, don't worry about them. They'll be fine. I know they'll be fine. I know they will be fine. They have very good paying jobs. They're both taking time off for the kid. I know they will be fine. It's not about them. I mean, it is about them, but it's also about I want to be present. And it's so hard when I see my friends traveling or... My, they, them going out for dinners and all that stuff, and I'd love to go, but I can't because all my money has to go towards bills. And I know that's life, but at the same time, I'm 20. It's not the life that I want. I don't want to be stuck paying bills. And that's all I was doing is, yes, I was enjoying my life, but I was stuck at home filming, editing, posting, working. I was always working. And I love that. I love working. I'm I'm a Virgo. <laughs> and I love what I'm doing. I love working. I love everything. But at the same time, I was working so hard with little to no payoff. And I was working so hard that I should be able to go on a vacation. I should be able to go out with my friends. But I can't because I can't afford it. Even when I'm working so hard, I worked three jobs from September to just now. I was working three jobs, one full-time, two part-time. So I was working two full-time jobs and coming home, filming, editing, posting. And it was a lot. I burnt myself out and I still didn't get much payoff out of it. And I don't spend a lot of money. I mean, like, a lot of it is just going to my bills. And I had a lot of bills. <laughs> So, I've decided as much as I love my house and how it's decorated, how it is, where I am, I'm moving out. 
being a single, we'll, we'll get to that. Being a woman, living on her own, it's kind of impossible where I live. And I did it for a year. And I'm so proud of myself for doing it for a year. But it's not easy. And I was getting a lot. And I don't have to do it. So I'm moving out of my apartment. And I'm moving back home to my parents' house. But I'm moving my studio into my old bedroom. To have a proper filming studio just like this. And I'm going to be staying in their guest room. So my bed is going into storage. All my stuff is going into storage. And I'm going to be there for a couple months. And then in the spring, I'm going to move out again. But I want to have some money saved up. And I really want to get my business open in the spring too. So honestly, I really want to save my money. And I want to... Because um, I'm obviously I'm going to be paying a little bit when I get home, but not as much as this. And I want to save my money and open my business. I, I am almost at the point that I can open my in-person business, and that's what I really want to do. And I can't do that if I'm spending $2,000 a month because I want to get an accountant, and I want, I want employees to help me, you know? Like, I need all these things, and I can't do that if I'm spending all this money because I won't have any money to do the business. So I'm moving on for a couple months. Then when I get the business up, I'll move out again. So this is just like a transition period to save some money. So it was a really hard decision, one that I'm not totally keen on, but it's got to be done. So that's what we're doing. Yay. It's just sad how much things are just so expensive. And... I'm just not making enough to keep on top of it. I'm making enough to get by, but not to get by. I'm comfortable, but I don't want to be comfortable. I don't, I want a security blanket. I don't want to just sit there and be like, yeah, I can pay this bill. I want to be like, yeah, I can pay that bill and I can go and eat. I don't always want to every month have to wonder what if something happened. If Jason ever needed anything of the vet, I don't want to have to be like, I can't afford this. I just want to pay for it. So that's what I'm doing is I'm going home to get back on my feet. And this, the thing is, nothing happened to get me to a point that I can't live. I have money. I have savings. I have, I can do this till I can't. But I don't want to is the thing. I don't want to live month to month. So I'm just, I'm not. So I'm moving. Another thing. You may or may not know. I had a boyfriend. Um, the redhead guy that I kept doing videos with. And then we split. Took some time. We're back together. It's actually been really nice because we split on good terms. <clears throat> And both of us just needed some time to mature. I needed, we were going separate ways. And then our paths connected again. And we decided to give another shot. So I am dating Brendan again. And it's going really well. It's been a few weeks. It's going really, really well. We're about to do a little staycation together uh, on the 1st the 6th. So I'll be vlogging that. And I'm very excited. Um, the other update is, so I'm moving out, back with Brennan, I'm still at Sally's, don't know how long I will be at Sally's, probably not much longer, um, I do like it, but honestly, i rather just work the salvage days at Sweet Salvage, which is two days a week. Um, I'd far rather just do those and then focus on the business and other side things. Um, I feel like I'm spending all my time at a 9 to 5 rather than working on what I really want to work on. So I think I might leave Sally's and just do the two days a week and really focus on myself and businesses and all that. 
Um, I'm very close to opening my business. I'm very excited. Next week, it is currently November 10th. Next week, I will be heading down um, to Vic and will be getting my nail certificate. So I'll be a licensed in nail tech, which is very exciting. Um, and then after that, I'm going to be doing my lash course uh, for lashes and brows. And hopefully in the spring, I can open my business where I would offer makeup, skincare, lashes, and the nails. And hopefully more as long as, like, long as I go. As long as I, as long as I go. Hopefully more as long as, like, down the road. <laughs> But hopefully I'll be adding more. Um, but I am very excited to open this business soon. Um, I have been saving a lot for it. And so that's going to be nice. I'm currently looking for a place to rent for it. Um, so that's really exciting. I've been talking to some investors. Um, and looking at different POS systems. And I've been really looking into it. I really want to get into it, uh, get an accountant as well. And I'm talking to a lawyer for different insurances and different contracts. And it's it's really coming along. Um, I've branded my name. Um, I'm ordering all my like window decals and my um, little designs and stuff. I've made my logo. I'm getting my business cards. I'm really excited. Everything is slowly coming together. And it's a dream come true that is coming true. Oh, I got another tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, I went out and went to work. And all day, customers were being very rude. This was at the homeway shop. And all day, customers were being rude. They were treating me poorly, which is so sad. And so I decided after work, I'm like, you know what, screw it, we're going to go get a tattoo. So I went and got bats. I have four bats on my collarbone. They're all really cute, and I'm really happy. Uh, Jason's coming with me, by the way, for the move. He's coming with me. But yeah, so that's kind of my quick little update video. Um... The nice thing is now that I'm moving home, I can update my computer. So that's probably one of like the first things I'm gonna do once I get back from this staycation. I'm literally just staying down the road from my house so we can still go to work. But once I get off this staycation, I think I'm gonna go and buy my new computer and we're going just to upgrade my entire system. Not my camera, because I had recently updated that about like two years ago. Um, so, but I wanna update my setup, my lighting, my um, editing stuff, so I wanna update it all. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're really gonna like update my makeup storage. We're just gonna dive into it. It's gonna be really fun, really nice. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and I'm looking forward to how this year, I guess not this year because this year is almost over, but how next year is going to pan out. Because, I mean...